What is prayer? Let me give you 10 seconds to see how many things you can think of that are true about prayer. Well, I asked that question quite a bit in school and in different places. And I've got, had some brilliant answers actually. Prayer is chatting to God. It's having a conversation. It's praying for people that we love, asking for healing, asking for people who are sad to be comforted. There's a lot of answers to this question. And yet also it's a really simple. Prayer is communicating with God, chatting to God, just being with God. And we are gonna look at prayer the whole of this week. Now, normally this time of year, we would often have run a special prayer spaces event in our local church where you guys from school are able to come and have a go at lots of different creative ways of thinking about life, God and others and sharing love as you pray. So I thought, well, we can't come into the church to do that, but let's remind ourselves of all the different ways in which we have done prayer together. Now, before we go into our ways, let's just think a minute in the Bible. Do people all pray the same? Is there one way that they chat to God? Is it in the same place, the same position, the same words? Well, I'm gonna show you some pictures and I wonder if you will recognize any of the stories and I'll let you know the different ways that some people have prayed in our Bible. Well, here is picture number one, and you might be able to guess who this is a picture of. It's Jesus. But where is he praying? He's praying on a mountainside. In fact, possibly look overlooking a Sea of Galilee there. So outside, not in a temple, not in a synagogue, but outside in the fresh air. Okay, number two picture. Oh my. Now, who on earth is this? I think some of you might remember the story of Jonah and the whale. Yes, here we see Jonah in the belly of a big fish, praying to God his heart out. And the story ends in a good way. So we're pleased he does end up getting out of that fish alive. Okay, we've got another sea picture now, but what's going on here? Well, we quite love to hear this story quite a lot at school. We've done it a few times and it looks like they're in a boat and there are some big waves and lots of people are quite scared apart from one. There we have Jesus. And the disciples are definitely praying uh, in a storm, when they're frightened. So that's a very different sort of prayer, but one that probably we've all done a little bit of. Okay, we've got two more pictures. This next one, hmm. Well, I think there is definitely something wrong with that man at the front. In fact, it looks like he can't see anything. I wonder what he might be doing. Well, this is a picture actually of a blind man, perhaps Bartimaeus, who we read about in the New Testament, who cried out to Jesus to heal him and give his sight back. And that is indeed what Jesus did. So prayers for healing. And finally, oh, well, what's going on here? The lady is very sad very sad and upset and that's a priest of the temple looking on and seeing her in her sadness. That lady, she is Hannah 
And we read about Hannah in the Old Testament, who was ever so sad. She hadn't got any children and she really, really wanted to be able to have a baby of her own. And she prayed, but really she didn't even have the words to say and she cried and she sobbed, we read. So another way of praying, just being sad, but letting our emotions out with God and asking him to help us in times of sadness. Well, they are definitely five different ways and places of praying. Fantastic. I'm not really desperate to pray in the belly of a whale. I'm not going to lie, but I am really encouraged that you can cry, that you can shout out, that it doesn't have to be just one way. Because actually, so many people are very different and they like to do things differently. Some people really love to be quiet with God and still. Others would really enjoy chatting to God as they're hurtling down the road on a bicycle. I wonder which one of those you are more like today. Well, here is a video just to remind you of our special prayer spaces that we did a couple of years ago. And I wonder how many of you remember coming along. So how did we end up doing such creative prayer with you all? Well, I just want to tell you a story about some Christians who felt moved to help lots and lots of children pray in this way. It started back in 2007. Now, an organisation called 24-7 Prayer had been going for quite a while. And 24-7 prayer is a thing where churches or groups of people sign up to pray for 24 hours a day for seven days, one whole week. And they have a big rotor and people go into a space, into a place, and they pray for an hour. But it's not just words. They might have paint and pictures and pens and music and they spend an hour with God and this room becomes an amazing place over a whole week full of people's prayers. I guess in a way it's a bit like when we go into a really old church, maybe St Nicholas or Wisley Church, and we can think and remember that there have been people praying there for years and years and years. And that's pretty special, isn't it? Well, anyway, back to our story. Four people, four Christians from all over the world, over the country, decided that they wanted to do some creative prayer in schools all in the same year. Anyway, those four prayer rooms went so well that the next year, another 12 schools wanted to have them happen. So then it changed to 16. 
The next year, there were 48 different prayer rooms that children were going to. By 2010, 100 schools had a prayer space experience, which is pretty cool. But even cooler than that, over the last 10 years, UK prayer spaces, they're not just in Britain anymore, but there are prayer spaces going on every year in 30 different countries in schools. 30 different countries and over 1 million children have been introduced to creative prayer. What fun, how cool is that? Well, we have got some wonderful year twos who are going to remind us of some of the ways in which we can chat to God and use the things around us in our beautiful world. Sometimes we can play with the world by using stickers. Where the feather lands on the map, we pray for that country. We can use the pictures to chat to God. I'm going to pick this picture to pray about because it reminds me of friendship. So when we, I see this picture, I can pray to friends. I like this picture because my grandma and me have some, have some really good toys and we love to share them together and chat to God about that and we can chat to God about that yep. so Sometimes we feel angry or worried and we can um, pray for, to God to help us. I'm going to drop this tablet in the water and pray to God to get rid of my worries and anger. You lift it up in front of you. Sometimes we don't know um, what to chat to God about, so Smarties can help us with that. Each colour Smarty um, prays for something else. Pray for joy and someone else. <laughs> <laughs> 
Red, pray for people in danger. Amen. Blue, pray for people who are sad. Jesus used stories and pictures to tell people about God and sometimes he uses stories or pictures to talk to us. That's just brilliant, isn't it? And when we think of praying to God, it doesn't have to be words. We can maybe write a letter to God or draw him a picture. Some Christians use something called the rosary which is a set of beads with a cross. Here's a picture. At each bead, they say a different prayer. Uh, think about Jesus's life and they say the Lord's Prayer and the Creed and a little special prayer to Mary, mother of Jesus. It's wonderful to know that God is a creative God. He made the big woolly mammoth the tiny little ant. And so we too can chat to him in big, loud ways and in quiet stillness. I hope that you keep having wonderful experiences of prayer throughout your life and know that every year, every birthday, there could be a different way that you chat to God and it can be great fun too. Do have a wonderful week. And of course, we can't leave our prayer assembly without a bit of praising God who made us and who loves us and who loves it when we chat to him. So let's praise God together. Love 